Good to have you back in music as well, because it's been two years, hasn't it, that I you've know. been away? Feel, do you know, it goes so quickly, though, because I was doing other stuff, you know, I did three documentaries, um, I wrote a book. They were very good as well. Thank you. Um, I presented Lip Sync, you know, I had entertainment telly presenter. I don't, yeah, I don't know. know how I landed that job. That was very good, isn't it? Um, probably going to get myself in trouble by saying this, but we're doing a second season of Lip Sync as well. Oh, good. Back. Yeah, I'm shooting two more documentaries at the moment. I've got another three commissioned, then I'm trying to release music. My head is all are over the gap, but I'm having boy. a good time with it. So have they told you not to say that there's an Yeah, yeah, yeah. Apparently I wasn't meant to say anything until we got the <laughs> okay, but... Well, that's good. I mean, I've been in worse trouble, you know what I mean? I've got, I've too late worse. now. So let's not get too far away from the lyrics. So we've gone into documentary. We'll come back to that in yeah, just yeah. a moment and, uh, and your other stuff. Um, as I said in the introduction, mm -hmm. lots of press speculation. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, and then you look at the lyrics. 61 missed calls, divorces on the cards if I don't split. When she hears this, it's lights out. I'll probably get kicked out of my house till I come back with a brand new Chanel bag. Crazy in bed, we watch a couple of episodes of a box set and then it's night night. Don't you watch a box set? I love a love box set. I love a box set. <laughs> it's the death of everyone's sex life though, isn't it? You know what I mean? When it gets to that point. Um, no, listen, I, the song was written. Millie was actually on the intro of the song. At the beginning of the song, there is a girl who says, you're a words we can't say on primetime television. Yeah. And initially that was Millie. Like, when the song was coming out, she texted me to say, you must be happy it's coming out after all this time. Like, whatever the press want to make it into, it's fine. Mm -hmm. Like, they can, they're always going to say and do whatever they want. But the song was written at a time when we were actually still together, so... So it wasn't about... It's not she, a revenge it's breakup. A revenge for what? It's, do you know what I mean? It's mad, it's mad to me. I'm like, revenge for what? Well, then you look at the, 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 the picture that, that was posted over the weekend. And Which this was? Is the, this is the wedding dress picture. So, Which? so this is... This is oh, um, I thought you were going to have a picture of it. I well, we have. We have. We have. Oh. So it was like a Halloween party. That's the one on the right-hand side. It looks oh, like what? the one she that was the night time. She used wedding dress for a blimmin' Halloween party. Yeah. Well, we well, at least she got to wear it again. <laughs> Most people don't get to wear their wedding dress twice, do no. they? She, she, I don't know if she paid for it or her parents did, but she has to do what she wants with it, isn't it? Do you? But, <laughs> unless that was going to hurt a little bit, though. Oh, come on, mate. If you can't have a sense of humour, like... <clears throat> Divorce is horrible, yeah? But when you come out the other side of it, like, if you've been married to a person and you can't look back on it with any kindness, then it really was a mistake. Mm -hmm. if, do you know what I mean? If I was bitter about it, like, people want to make out or I was angry, that would be really sad because it would, it would have meant that I really, really did make a mistake. And when we got married, we never got married to get divorced. No. We no. got married because we were young and in love. Like... And is it frustrating? It must be frustrating because it seems like, at the moment, and I don't know whether this is just brilliant timing because the singles out, and I probably this probably all helps this hype in I, reality. But the downside to that is, it must be hard for you. It must be hard to keep seeing it every day. Some other new story, tough on Do her you know too. What, I don't see it, and she's probably the same. Like we always used to have a laugh with the stuff that was written about us when we were together because we would find out things about ourselves that we never knew in these articles. Right. You know, I, come on, I'm sure you both mm. know about it. Yeah, yeah. You know, and is that you the must... best way to deal with but it? It's funny, not look. you know. You read things sometimes, and you're like. Wow, I never knew that about myself. Mm. Mm. Because it's not just exaggerated, it's fabricated yeah. a lot of the time. But also, once you, um, once everybody knows about your private life and, what, and what's going or on... They or they, they, they think they know about your private life. Um, then you go out for a meal, whoever you happen to be with, then there's someone I've across the a... restaurant with a... With, I'll with make a camera, camera phones that are... They're my... They are my nemesis. It's annoying, cos, you know, you're sitting... And it's always funny when someone has the flash on and they don't realise and they go... Oh. <laughs> and, <laughs> Busted. And I'm not shy, I just look at them. Does you know, it bother you? And it, it's annoying sometimes. Sometimes you don't want it. But it is what it is. It's the world. It's the world we live in today. Yeah. The other funny thing is what people don't realise is even when they don't have the flash on, if you take a picture, the light on your phone goes black for a second, so it flashes on your face. So I know you, I'm not stupid. I know you're taking a picture. But it is what it is. And it is annoying because sometimes you just want to go out and enjoy some anonymity. But I don't have that anymore. Would I go back to where I was before? No, because I'm really fortunate to be able to do what I do for a job now. Um, I also want to ask you about Honey G, because she has really got to <laughs> you. I saw you on Extra She Factor. hasn't got to me. She has a little bit. She hasn't. Maybe if she wrote a diss song, she'd get to me. <laughs> <laughs> then I'd have an excuse to write one back. That would be hard, wouldn't it? But you did say um, she's taking the place of somebody that's good. No, well, my, my feeling with it is, is that, like, that she's a, it's a gimmick, right? I don't think it is. Do you, I think that's where you're oh, wrong. I think she's taking it quite seriously. I think that's she where you're wrong. She to be taking it very seriously. This is that's... what she wants to do. Oh, well, bless her. <laughs> oh, and in that there's moment... Nothing, really... There's you know nothing I mean? worse than bless someone her. says, oh, bless you. It's just, if, you, if you're a rapper, you write your own lyrics. You know what I mean? You tell your story. So it's really difficult to, 
to attempt to be a credible rapper and come up on a song where the whole point of the you show is to You say honey, I say G, if that's no, not her own. I... <laughs> <laughs> come on, oh, have a giggle. You say honey, I say nut crunch. Have you ever... Have I you say ever I got... shrunk the kids. These are all borrowed <laughs> jokes from uh, Vic and Bob yesterday. <laughs> Don't worry. I, I wish I'd come up with them. Have you ever got smart. caught out in the PVC slide? What happened? Oh, she went for the PVC slide oh, and they the stuck side. on the floor. And oh, no. she, uh, yeah, it's not quite, not uh, quite. See, I wouldn't wish that on her. I'm not horrible. Like, I wouldn't wish that on her. I just think she's, I don't, I don't think rap should be. It, look, we all have to have a sense of humour about things, but it's gone a bit far. We could have had someone else in the show who has a chance of, of having a proper career in music. Mm. That's all I think. She might, she might. If she does, well, listen, Simon Cowell signed Zig and Zag and he done all right with them. So, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? We, we might, I might be wrong. <laughs> If you enjoyed that, there's more of the same right here. And make sure you subscribe so that you never miss the best moments from this morning.